Welcome back to the wonderful working studio here at Outback Fibers. Today we're working on a small Nuno felted scarf project and you can see we have this laid out here today. What we have done is started with a commercial scarf that I picked up and this is just one of these infinity scarves that goes around in a circle made from viscose, comes out of India and you can pick these up a number of different places. So we started with that as our scarf base, laid that out here. What we did was take some heavy duty plastic and we put that between the two sides of the infinity scarf so that our fibers that we lay on the top will not migrate down into the fibers on the other side. So the plastic acts as a resist between the two. It enables us to lay out the design elements on this surface, wet felt them down gently turn it over and then we can repeat the design on the other side. So today we're featuring a number of the items that we sell here at Outback Fibers, starting with our needled pre-felt. And you can see this is a wonderfully thin product, but needled together well enough so that we can cut it with scissors, as we've done here, to make the leaves that we've put on the surface of our uh, decorated scarf. This is the sagebrush colour and we have 22 colours in this needled pre-felt. It's a beautifully needled product, very lightweight, fine merino, and you can double it for extra thickness and more density of colour if you want to. So be sure and check that out on our website. The second product that we have used on here today is our hand-dyed superfine merino tops. Now these are hand-dyed in this wonderful gradation of colour so that you can see how the colours just move nicely from one to the next. And what we've done with this is taken a small piece of this and just draft it gently. So hold down with your fingers and gently pull on it, but don't pull it completely apart. Move your fingers down, pull again, move your fingers down, pull a little, and you get a nice flat ribbon, keeping that nice gradation of color as it moves along the piece of roving. And this is what we've used here to decorate the surface of our scarf. So then on top of the wall, we've taken the coordinating silk roving, and this is a tussa silk. Tussa silk comes from the caterpillars that are out in the wild. They eat oak leaves as well as the mulberry leaves, and the uh, resulting silk is a light honey color and a little fuzzier than the bombyx silk, but it takes the dye beautifully, and you can see the wonderful colorways that we have here. And again, we've done the same thing. We've taken a thinner strip of the silk roving and we've drafted that out so that we get that nice movement of colour as we go along. And you can place this on top of the wall and it will give you some nice sheen on top of the wall and the, the scale structure in your wall will be enough to creep through and grab onto those silk fibres and carry the whole thing to where it will connect onto your viscose base. So you can see on our design element here that we've laid out some wool base with the silk on top, some cuttings of our needled pre-felt and tied it together with some uh, drafted strips of the wool roving. And we're going to wet felt this side of the uh, scarf and then we'll gently turn it over. We'll put, repeat the design on the back side of the scarf, wet felt that, and then we'll fold the whole piece together and we'll be back to show you shortly what the finished piece looks like. So here you can see the finished uh, infinity scarf that we worked on yesterday and we just put that through the regular wet felting process. We wet the whole thing down with warm soapy water, uh, rubbed on it for a little while, did some rolling and once we had our wool and silk well connected to the, uh, to the background of the viscose um, fabric then we took that to the sink and dunked it in hot water. We did some gentle tossing and some um, some more little more rubbing and rolling, and uh, then we tossed it a little more firmly, and then we finished it off with about 15 minutes in a uh, in the tumble dryer on a medium heat. And uh, so this is just a nice little piece you can use on the top of a a sweater just to dress up your outfit um, and we hope this has given you some ideas um, for how to use this and the colorways that we used in this today were the summer melon 
which is the colour of the wool and the silk fibres that we used. And then, of course, the sagebrush pre-felt was what we used for the leaves. So we hope you'll enjoy trying a project like this yourself. Thank you.